Okay, we are at number 10. This, I think, is the most challenging of all of them, partly because it requires us to think backwards a little bit. Here's what I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning a situation, again, in which what you know is a conditional thing, like if lying, if treats people as a means, then it's unethical, or if there's a pet at the party, then I will have a good time. That's the thing you know. You know the conditional thing. What I'm wondering is what you can be reasonably expected to conclude from that conditional thing. This is an amazingly useful skill because it's very helpful to know what you could conceivably infer or conclude from other things that you know and what you cannot conceivably conclude or infer from other things that you know. So for instance, if I say, if there's going to be a pet basically of any type at the party, then I will have a good time. And suppose that um, you're wondering, could, is there anything that you could be told that would allow you to conclude that there was a pet at the party? Or is there anything that you could be told that would allow you to conclude that there wasn't a pet at the party, right? That sort of thing. It, it, trust me, trust me, this can be helpful. So here, suppose we want to conclude lying is ethical. That's really what we want to conclude from this conditional. Two questions. Can we do this with a valid inference? Can we get lying is ethical out validly from that conditional? And if so, what would we need to know? What additional piece of information would we need to acquire? If we can't validly conclude this thing, don't go on to the second question, because I'm not interested in what, you know, how you might make the mistake. I'm just interested in can you validly conclude it? And if so, what would you need to know? What additional piece of information would you require? So just think about the first one. Just think about one here. See if you can do that. Pause the video, think for a bit, and once you've decided, come back. Okay, so imagine lying is ethical here. How is lying is ethical related to this conditional? Is it the front? Is it the back? Is it the opposite of the front or is it the opposite of the back? It's the opposite of the back, right? Can I validly infer the opposite of the back of a conditional? I can't. If you're unsure about that, go back to that PowerPoint presentation that we did a while back. That kind of goes through the same material. But if you want to figure it out, here's how you can figure it out. Suppose you think you could validly infer the opposite of the back, because lying is ethical is the opposite of lying being unethical, right? What do you suppose you would use to do that? Presumably the opposite of the front. I mean, that would make sense, right? So ask yourself, is that valid? If front, then back. Opposite of front, therefore opposite of back. Is that valid? If you're not sure, poodle dog the thing. If Max is a poodle, then Max is a dog. Max is not a poodle. Can we conclude that Max is not a dog? No, because Max could be a Shih Tzu mix, like Buster is, right? So, can um, suppose we want to conclude lying is ethical. Can we do this with a valid inference? Nope. So I don't even need to go on to this next thing because I can't do it. Got it? Now, do the same thing for lying is unethical. Ask yourself, could I validly infer lying is unethical from this conditional? Yes or no? And if yes, what other piece of information would I need? Pause the video, think for a bit, and then come back. Okay, what do you think? If lying treats people as a means, then lying is unethical. I'm wondering if I can infer lying is unethical. Well, how is that related to the fronts and the backs? 
looks like it's exactly the back. The back here is lying is unethical. That's what I'm trying to infer. So really what I'm wondering is, given a conditional, can I validly infer the back part of that conditional? Oh, indeed I can. What would I need to be told in order to make that move? Well, the front part of the conditional. Then it would be if back, then front, front, therefore back. Modus ponens. If Max is a poodle, then Max is a dog. Max is a poodle, so Max is a dog. So can we do this with a valid inference? Yes. If so, what would the missing premise need to be? Well, what do you think? In order to infer the back part, I would need to know the front part. So I would need to know lying treats people as means. Excellent. Now, do number three. Same thing. Lying doesn't treat people as a means. Can I validly infer this claim from that conditional? If so, what other additional piece of information would I need in order to make that inference? Pause the video, think for a bit, and then come back when you're done. Okay, let's see. If lying treats people as a means, then lying is unethical. Can I conclude lying doesn't treat people as a means? Well, how is this related to the conditional? Is it the front? Is it the back? Is it the opposite of the front? Is it the opposite of the back? Looks to me like it is the opposite of the front. So the question is, can I validly infer the opposite of the front of a conditional? Can I get that thing out? Oh, indeed I can. If Max is a poodle, then Max is a dog, right? Max is not a dog, so Max is not a poodle. I can validly infer the opposite of the front if I am told the opposite of the back. So can I do this with a valid inference? Yes. I can. And what would I need to be told? Think about that. Pause the video and come back when you're done. Okay. I want to conclude the opposite of the front, so I must be told or find out or assume the opposite of the back. Lying is ethical. or lying is not unethical, doesn't matter. So, if lying treats people as a means, then lying is unethical. Lying is ethical, so lying doesn't treat people as a means. But whoops, one more. Okay, we can do this. Take a look at that conditional and ask yourself, can you validly infer from it lying does treat people as a means? And if so, what would you need to be told? Pause the video, think for a bit, and come back when you're ready. Okay, let's see. Lying does treat people as a means. How is that related to the conditional? Is it the front part, the back part, the opposite of the front, or the opposite of the back? It looks to me like it is just the front, the plain old front. Lying treats people as a means. Lying does treat people as a means. Can I validly infer the front part of a conditional? No, I can't. If I could, I would probably be assuming the back part. I'd probably be doing something like, if front, then back, back, therefore front. But would that work with poodle dog? If Max is a poodle, then Max is a dog. Max is a dog. But I can't infer from that that Max is a poodle because Max could be a Doberman Pinscher. So can we do this with a valid inference? No. So I don't even need to ask, answer that second question. Okay, those three, and especially 10, were not very simple, but I hope it's making a little bit more sense to you. The next thing we will do is go back to a regular argument and map that thing and evaluate it. I'll see you then.